Hello guys and welcome to Nansa Tutorials. In this video lecture, we'll learn about the third process, the last process of urine formation that is tubular secretion. So let's get started with it. In tubular secretion, tubular secretion takes place with the help of a peritubular capillaries. You can see these are the peritubular capillaries which are forming from the efferent arterioles. And one of the important thing to be noted is that tubular secretion mostly takes place in DCT, that is distal convoluted tubule. Okay. So it takes place in DCT. Here, this peritubular capillary consists of some uh, those substances which we do not need. So those nitrogen substances which we do not need in our body. So which are pumped inside the nephron. Those substances are H plus ions, creatinine, and drugs. So these H plus ions are present inside this blood, which are pumped inside the nephron which consists of H plus ions, creatinine and drugs. So they are pumped inside the nephron and with the nephron and the nephric and the filtrate which is formed, they are passed to the collecting duct. In the collecting duct, what happens? The urine is formed and then that urine is excrete out from our body. This is how tubular secretion takes place with the help of the capillaries known as peritubular capillaries. Okay, here the peritubular capillaries consist of all the nitrogenous waste material that is H plus ions, creatinine and drug. Then this then from this peritubular capillaries, they are pumped inside the DCT where the tubular secretion takes place. Uh, as they are pumped inside the uh, nephron, through the DCT they travel to the collecting duct. From the collecting duct, the urine is from and then that nitrogenous waste material are thrown out from the body. This is what tubular secretion takes place. Okay, thank you.